Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. I'm going to share with you here a lot of tips about tripod for landscape photography and especially for beginners who are like trying to choose their first tripod and maybe even for people who chose like a very lightweight tripod and are thinking about switching to a little more sturdy tripod. So guys feel free to let me know in the comment section below what tripod you own and if you are happy with it or if you're thinking about changing actually. So let's get going without any further ado. So the first tripod I'm going to share with you is this one. That's the first tripod I bought. This is a Rolay Traveler Carbon number one. And that's an extremely lightweight tripod, which is about one kilo. With the head ball, uh, it unfolds up to one meter 42, I guess, centimeters. And it unfolds that way. So you've got the three legs that opens that way. And so you can unfold them totally here as well as the leg which is on the top here and with this you get like a fairly high tripod which is sold as a sturdy tripod and lightweight tripod as a travel tripod so that's a travel tripod that's for sure with one kilo weight and a very small size however this is a terrible tripod when it comes to sturdiness and to be frank with you, I think brands are really trying to sell you those type of tripod. Um, I don't know, by, by saying like, okay, they are lightweight, they are small and you can carry them around. But it only really works with very compact camera. When I put my XF, my X-T3, Fujifilm X-T3 with XF55 to 200 millimeters on it, the tripod is a little bending and not a little shaky and not really sturdy. If there is a little bit of wind, it's a little bit shaky. And I tr I used it in the Lofo 10 to record my videos by, by putting my, um, my uh, recording camera on this tripod on windy days. And it happened several times that the camera fell on this tripod. So that's not really a tripod I would recommend if you really want something sturdy, if you're going to be on top of mountains, if you're going to experience windy situations, don't go for this one. Rather go for something like that. That's a second tripod that I have and that I am using a lot. This is the Manfrotto Element M2. So this tripod, like the other one, unfolds like this with some screws and it uh, measures about one meter sixty uh, totally unfolded. It unfolds that way as well. You've got like the main head which opens that way. It's a practical tripod because you can also switch all the way around the legs if you want to unfold your tripod and get it very close. Your camera unfold the tripod and get your camera very close to the ground. So very practical. It weighs about 1.5 kilos. And I bought that one a few months ago, as I said, after having bad experience with this one for recording my videos. I bought it essentially to record my videos. And I found it on discount uh, while crossing Germany in an electronic shop. That was not really uh, my, my intention. But when I saw it, I said, okay, I need a new one. So I go for it. And I'm fairly happy. I bought it about... 150 um, euros it's a carbon version so it's uh, very reliable it's sturdy and really it does extremely well the job and why i like also this tripod is because i can carry it with me on hikes and treks without carrying my other tripod that you will see in a moment which is rather heavy and bulky so in this case, this tripod really does the job. If there is something that I have to say, and I guess that's the compromise you have to make when you buy such tripod. This is the headball here. The headball is not that great. It's really limiting. But I knew this when I bought the tripod initially because when you put a little bit too much weight on the, on the headball, or if I put my XF255 uh, to 200 millimeters on it and I opened it fully, to 200 millimeters then the the headboard will tend to bend quite a bit and trust me that's a little bit annoying but i knew this before buying it and the cool thing is that if you want to you can replace and that's the fact on that's the thing on on most tripods you can replace the headboard and that's what i do i use my 
other higher quality headball when I want to carry it around, for example, on trek or on hikes. And uh, last week, and by the way, you can see the video here, when uh, I went to shoot uh, in the mountain, I took this tripod because that was for me the best solution. That was a sturdy, small, compact, rather lightweight at 1.5 kilo, and I put the headboard of the other tripod. So a really good tripod, Manfrotto Element M2. No sponsoring, just that I like it, and I think it's a good one. And the last one. This is the beast. <laughs> well, I call it the beast, whatever. Uh, this is the Leofoto LS365C. That's a very sturdy tripod. It's... Um, it has uh, four sections here that unfold like the other one. I like the screw, so I have it on all my tripod because I think it's, it's very practical. It unfolds without the head up to uh, 1 meter 52, I guess, centimeters. And um, the cool thing about it, which makes it sturdy, is that the, um, the head ball is really right on top of the legs. You have no, you, you can't really open, um, well, not that you can't really, you just can't open uh, the the um, or increase the size of the headboard here with an additional element because there is no you can purchase one which which would help but honestly that that won't be really necessary and that makes this tripod extremely reliable extremely sturdy it's also in carbon which means that it can handle any kind of weather any kind of situations you can put the feet in the in the sea and it won't oxidate so that's really amazing the only thing is that it's much more costly than the other one so that one i bought it about like 100 euros a few years back i bought this one 150 euros a few months back and that one i purchased it i guess four or five months after that one because i was not happy about it and I bought it for like something like three or four hundred uh, euros with the headboard. I guess today they are a little bit more expensive because they're also more popular. It's a direct concurrent from uh, the brand Gizzo. Um And in my opinion, it makes much more sense to buy a Leo Photo because, well, it's basically more or less the same product and it costs half the price. So yeah, makes makes a lot of sense. Um, when you had the headboard, which you need to buy separately, I bought it. Um, I bought the Leo Photo NB34. That's not a great head headball. It's much much better than the other ones, but it's not a great headball among the high quality headball. And uh, I feel I would need to change it at some point. Until today, I st I'm still fine and I'm still quite happy with it. But still, if I put a little bit too much weight on it, it will tends to bend a little. But I'm aware of it. The the headball is easy to handle and to uh, to uh, adjust. So. I can still live with it. I just changed the plate on this headboard here and I put a clip like a, you can close by clipping here the headboard. Before I had a screw in a plate and in the past I had some few issues by putting my camera on it and having the camera a little bit in diagonal in the plate and the, the, the camera would fall. So hopefully, thankfully it never happened at a very high height but it happened and that's extremely annoying. Sometimes it fell in the water and so on. So with this, I have no problem. So it brings me peace of mind. It's a piece of gear, piece of accessory, which is like about $100. So it's not the most affordable, but if it brings me peace of mind and keeps my gear, my gear safe, then I'm happy to spend it there. Um, so all in all, you get a tripod, which is maybe 1 meter 64 five centimeters i would say with a headball and then if you add your camera on it you are about one meter eighty uh so in fit uh, that must be something like six six one i guess a little more i am 6.3 one meter ninety centimeters and by unfolding totally the tripod and putting my camera on top i'm totally happy with the setup so overall what can we say if you're a beginner don't buy this. In my opinion, that's just not right for anyone. Rather go for a little more expensive tripod and buy something like this. So they are like various in this category. And I have the feeling that Manfrotto is a very reliable and really trusty brand that managed to make here a very good tripod. It's made in Italy, uh, very sturdy and very good. And for 150 euros. So what more do you want? And 
if really after having that one you really feel at some point you need something much more sturdy much better than than what you have or if you have the money to buy directly something really good then just go for something like this but you might regret it a little if you do a lot of hiking and um, and trekking because it's really heavy and if you need to bring all your camping gear and your backpack and your photography gear then that will be really heavy so i think it's always a good option to get two tripods so that you have two options and it can be even very useful if like me you decide to record videos so that's uh, pretty much it for all these tripods and i hope that was a helpful video and if you have any questions about any of these tripods then feel free to let me know in the comment section below i will be very happy to reply to you and in the meantime if you like this video if you like my content then feel free to give me a thumbs up feel free to subscribe to my channel that would be really amazing if you want more content like this supporting me is always something great and in the meantime i wish you good luck with your photography and see you next week for new adventures